Hello, and thank you for joining us at XM.com for this Forex preview video. We'll be looking at China's GDP for quarter three out on Friday. I'm Cristina Marujos, and joining me today is investment analyst Cristina Parthenidou. So, Cristina, we did have some positive news on the trade front after the breakdown in talks back in May. However, import tariffs imposed remain in place. Now, do you think we'll see a further slowdown in China in quarter three? Uh, well, if we look at the data, the third quarter was probably not the one China would like to have considering the additional import tariffs set by the U.S. government during that period. Uh, retail sales and industrial production were on the downside in July and August. And although we are expecting a rebound in September this Friday, uh, the increase may not be enough to offset the weakness in the previous months. Uh, in terms of trade, uh, the data were even more discouraging this week, especially imports which uh, declined faster than exports, uh, giving negative signals for uh, business investment and uh, domestic demand. So I think a weaker GDP growth of 6.1% uh, year on year, as forecast suggests, uh, is likely uh, despite accommodative measures by the central bank and the government. Uh, and pr probably we may see uh, more weakness in coming quarters if the sites fail to uh, remove existing uh, tariffs. So do you think that things could get worse before they get better, especially after the high talks we saw recently? Or are we nearing a solution? Uh, well, I think the latest developments are a story we have heard uh, too many times over the past year and actually nothing has really changed besides the fact that the sites have uh, decided to separate the trade issue into two phases. According to the U.S. President, we are currently at phase one where the U.S. has suspended import tariffs in October and in exchange uh, China has agreed to buy 40 to 50 billion uh, dollars of U.S. agricultural products, which is double the amount it currently purchases. And personally, I think it's uh, an overstretched amount. Uh, it also agreed to uh, protect intellectual property rights for U.S. businesses and further open the market for U.S. for U.S. financial financial services. Uh, the problem, however, is that is uh, like in previous times, uh, we have little information about whether China can ever sign such an agreement. Uh, unless, of course, the U.S. decides to remove its existing uh, tariffs. Uh, otherwise, we could have a new round of import tariffs on December 15th, uh, and I think China wouldn't mind prolonging the trade war until uh, 2020 U.S. elections uh, if the U.S. continues to pressure Huawei and defend Hong Kong. Uh, so for me, it seems that uh, the U.S. president wants uh, more a trade deal uh, with China at the moment than China wants, uh, so he can keep, so he, he can strengthen his campaign and keep supporters, especially in the agricultural sector. And now turning to the FX markets, what should we be on the lookout for on Friday? Uh, well, besides the Chinese Yuan, uh, the Kiwi and Aussie uh, will be closely watched uh, given the close ties between New Zealand, Australia and China. Uh, looking at Aussie dollar, uh, we had some strong buying uh, this week and we are expecting resistance to run to 0.68 if Chinese GDP growth data come better than expected. Uh, otherwise, if the data meets expectations, then uh, support could, then we could look for support near 0.67. Christina, thank you for joining me today. And thank you for watching us at XM.com.